الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله The Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is tried and tested with many things. And from some of those trials and tests are those which are tests to the Islamic faith in and of itself. Meaning the test to the usul ad deen That there are those people who claim to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they say la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammad rasulullah they bear witness that there is no god worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that the prophet muhammad and bear witness that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last prophet and messenger alayhi salatu wa salam and as the scholars mention that the reality of something is in its substance, not in its claim. So someone can take the shahada, but yet their insides bear witness against them, meaning their ittiqad, their creed, that instead they can worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that the purpose of creation is what? Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al kareem I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me, meaning worshipping Allah, not worshipping saints, not worshipping priests, not worshipping pastors, not worshipping rabbis, not worshipping imams, not worshipping the supposed righteous. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned that and commanded that we worship him and him alone and we avoid any associating partners. There is no one who shares and can enter you into paradise or prohibit you from the fire. It comes from Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّهُ بِوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And your Lord has commanded you to worship him and him alone. Don't associate partners with him. وَقَالَ رَبُّكَ لَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ Except him will be the walidayn ihsana And to one's parents be righteous. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kirim وَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِشَيْنِ And worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions in the Qur'an all throughout the Qur'an it's about tawheed it's about making sure your worship is to Allah. That's what Islam is. For those who left Jahiliyyah and left Kufr, did they leave Kufr to come to Kufr? To go from worshipping Jesus and worshipping uh, saints and others to come into Islam, supposedly, and then worship saints and others? Shaykh al-Islam, rahmatullahi he mentions a very important definition that we have to pay attention to about worship. What is worship? He said, Al-ibadatu kullu ma yuhibbuhu Allah wa yardahu min af'al wa aqwal al-zahir wa al-batin. He said that worship, so the meaning of worship in Islam is much broader than uh, Christians and Jews and many other faiths, how they look at ibadah and worship. As Shaykh al-Islam mentioned, he said, ibadah, it is kullu ma yuhibbuhu Allah. It's everything that Allah loves and that pleases Him. From those actions which are internal, meaning actions in the ibadah of the heart, and those things which are external, meaning things like your prayer, your fasting, your hajj. And anyone who associates with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a partner in worship, then they are committing shirk. And they are committing shirk al-akbar, that which takes you out of the fold of Islam. That's why it's imperative that we understand tawheed and shirk. Listen to what some of the most extreme uh, of the Sufis, and this is why it is a path of bid'ah, khalis. It doesn't matter which turk, which path of Sufism you are upon, it is batil, it is falsehood, and it leads to zandaka. And what we know from the path of Ahl-Sunnah is that Ahl-Bid'ah, 
tafawit wa ahl sunnah tafawit that the people of innovation and desires they have different levels so there are those who are outside of the folds of Islam because they worship others with the law. They worship the dead. They worship the graves. They sacrifice to the graves and they worship the saints and believe their saints can enter you into paradise and prohibit you from the fire. Is, is what I'm saying true or not? Then there are those who are less than that. There are those people who have bid'ah in their worship, but they don't go to the level of shirk. So you can find tasawwuf people who are Sufis in all the categories going from all the extremes likewise you have people's adherence to the Sunnah they follow it people have different levels of Sunnah the Prophet وسلم, said if tarakat al-yahud ala ithna wa sab'in firqa wa if tarakat al-nasara ala ithna tain wa sab'in firqa wa said if tarakat al-yahud ala ithna wa sab'in firqa wa said if tarakat al-yahud ala ithna wa sab'in firqa kullaha finnar إلا واحد كل من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان على مثل ما كان عليه وصحابي. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the Jews were breaking into seventy one sects, Christian seventy two sects, my ummah into seventy three sects. So the scholars mention about these seventy three sects. Many of the scholars, however, there's some some differences, but the Mufassirin Amumin, in general, the the people who explain these hadith, on the hadith that they understood. That the seventy-three sects are those who are in the fold of Islam. It's not talking about sects that are out of the fold of Islam. We're not talking about the Khadiani, the Aghanis, and and other groups, Ismaili, and others who even the Shia make takfir of. But we're talking about those who are in the fold of Islam, in the realm of Islam, but they have bid'ah and. It makes them because of bid'ah being a major sin, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Kullu bid'ah ten dalala." All bid'ah is in the fire, or it's misguidance. We call it dalala tefillah, and all misguidance leads to the fire. So I want you to contemplate a habit tefillah, and listen to this statement of what one of the people of misguidance, and they are part of the Tijaniya sect. And we're going to listen to what they say themselves in English, which is clear for us about entering paradise and entering the fire. You know, doing it because of his uh, strenuous schedule. So we just ask him to pray for us. And I want to say one thing about that I heard of his father. Ajit Amir can correct me if I'm wrong. You know, first of all, before I say this statement, I want you all to know that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala can do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. He can give whatever He wants to give. So whom he wills and whomever he wishes to give. As he says in the Quran, This is the grace and bounties of Allah. Allah gives this bounty and grace to whomever he wills. His father, Rahimahullah, reached a level so high with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Shaykh Ibrahim said that his father, whoever saw his father, what did he say, Ajit? You guaranteed paradise. If you saw his father, Mm. You guarantee paradise. So we have hope that sitting in the presence of the Khalifa, mashallah, the oldest son of 46 younger people than him, younger siblings than him, we have hope that Allah allows us to enter Jannah mm. by the presence of his awliya. Qala Sheikh Muhammad, Lemma Sara ala akthir al ummati ma Sara. أظهر لهم الشيطان الإخلاص في سورة تنقص الصالحين وتقصير في حقوقهم وأظهر لهم الشرك بالله في سورة محبة الصالحين وإتباعهم شيخ محمد رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة he mentioned about how the shaitan deceived the people and one of the ways in which he deceived the people, meaning the shaitan, is he said, and when the ummah began to be upon what they were upon, meaning akthar ummah, would be upon what they are upon, he said, the shaitan made for them under the guise of sincerity. the worship of the saints, saint worship, worship, worship of the righteous, that it was made appealing to them. It was made appealing to 
The Ummah. Just like who? Just like the Catholics. The Catholics have saints for all kind of holidays and all kind of days. And they worship them. They repent to them and they say that they are uh, not just righteous, but they have holidays for them and they have uh, all kind of uh, acts of worship directed to them. Likewise, those from the Ummah of Muhammad deviated in the same way. And they, they tried to make it appear, the shaitan made it appear and beautified it for them, that they felt that they were honoring the righteous and that whoever speaks against their deviant practice is dishonoring the righteous and dividing the ummah and destroying the rights of the salihin. And... This is how shirk was made appealing to them. Because those are the same things that the Catholics and some of the Christians do. And it is shirk, worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, under the guise of loving the saints, loving the righteous and those who follow them. As we saw in the clip, being in the presence of this man's father is... A, Anyone who was in his presence would get Jannah according to this bid'ah and khurafa and khurafa. And that, that, that he was a means and a wasila to Jannah. How is that? Who gave him some rububiya? And who gave him a share? in uluhiyya, in the lordship, and in worship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he would even have the right to be able to say who's in the, who goes to Jannah and who, go, who goes to Nar, or that he has the means to enter people in paradise by just being in his presence. Wallahu musta'an. This comes from a misunderstanding in the concept of worship in Islam. That there are many types of ibadah, as Sheikh Muhammad illustrates, he says, Islam iman so letting us know that there are many types of worship in Islam. In Islam in itself is built on. It is Islam that Islam, it is to worship Allah alone. Islam lillah bi tawheed. Well, in qiyadlahu, in strict, strictly uh, obeying him and adhering to those commands and being away from shirk, any and all forms of, of worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, polytheism in all of its forms and manifestations and the propagators of polytheism, being away from kufr. Kufr in all of its manifestations. That Islam is calling us to the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal alone and to void allowing any of those deviant practices, any ways of worship and misguidance to come into Islam. Iman. Iman, it's reserved the six pillars of, his, uh, of Iman that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned. Ihsan. As the Prophet said, It is to worship Allah alone as if you see him. And because you can't see him, know that he sees you. And I want you to, 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 to contemplate something here, Habitifillah. How many people do we know, and I've known people personally that are Sufi Ashadis, that talked to me and told me and said, Subhanallah, I used to have a, a picture on the phone, on my phone of my sheikh and you know when you come into his presence you should cry. Subhanallah. And also uh, even one who was a Sufi who made Toba, he left Hadramaut and he went to Damaj. He also had a similar story and he told the brothers there in Damaj about the deviance that he witnessed at Dar al-Mustafa 
And I've known others who left that place. And Wallahi alham, they became Salafi. They came back to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and to the Sabil al-Mu'minin, not the Sabil al-Mushrikeen, not to those who associate partners with Allah azza wa jal, and try to say that it's okay to sacrifice to other than Allah, that it's okay to have shid khauf, fear in your heart to the extent of worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not those people, and the people of isti'ana, the people who rely solely on other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, put their hope and their trust in other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nah, not those people. That's not the sabil al-mu'mineen. Have the sabil al-kafirin. Have the sabil al-mushrikeen. This is a sabil of those, of uh, the sabil al-shaytan, wa shayateen, wa iyadhan billah, wa iyaakum min al-nar, wa iyaakum min al-kufr. And we ask Allah the Almighty to guide us and guide the Muslims everywhere and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad Allah sunnah. And may Allah bless us to be vehicles, all of us, to call to his book and call to the sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, prohibiting shirk in the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because it is there and it's coming more. It's increasing in the world. But it's up to Ahl Tawheed wa sunnah to defend Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.